Hi guys, welcome back to the grand final between Roxor and Jadar. A lot of predictions have come and go. Let's take a look at uh, game one in Blood River between Roxor's Chaos and Jadar's Sisters of Battle. Roxor starts at the bottom of the map, goes for the standard uh, Heretic and Cultist build. Temple, of course. On the other side of the map, Jedar will go for a convent and pristine sanctuary, perhaps for pistols. Suspiciously, there is no power generator. That leads me to believe Seraphim. Seraphim in Blood River. What an interesting choice. I, come with the Emperor's creed in hand. I honestly do not recommend using. Seraphims in such a small map. The logic behind the Seraphim strategy is basically you distract the enemy with Seraphims in tier 1 by constantly harassing them, killing their workers, killing their cappers, and making them too busy to go into your base in tier 1. So you can go to tier 2 pretty quickly and get crack grenades, infernal pistols, you know, the usual. And he's really going for it, you know, how will Roxor react? I mean, the correct response here, if he has a Chaos Lord and a Chaos Space Marine and you see a Seraphim, you don't have to worry, you should win. Why? Because Chaos Lord does a lot of damage to your enemy buildings. And if you're talking about base, base attack, it takes less than 15 seconds to get to the enemy base. So this like two second jump can be safely ignored because if you ask me, this uh, heretic forced labor gets the job done pretty quickly anyway. It doesn't matter. Yes, the initial attack will hurt once you lose your heretics. But in my opinion, if you just simply ignore this thing and maybe just leave it to one Chaos Space Marine to chase them around while your Chaos Lord go towards the enemy base and damage their economy, they can't do anything. Like, they're going for a second Seraphim squad here. Why? So, Roxor successfully defended his base. He lost one cultist and one heretic. Serve, master. And wisely choose, chooses not to chase them, but he should really go to Jedar's base, in my opinion. Why? Because there's nothing here defending it. Seraphims are not really that great against uh, Space Marines. They can only harass weak units and probably destroy generators. Otherwise, they can't really do much damage. See? It's heretic. Okay, you can kill it. Well, I've already got the job done, and you will take such a long time to destroy this listening post in such a small map. Okay, this cultist will will get wiped. That's the only problem here. So what is the solution? I think you can bring the cultist along for the attack. And take care of the seraphims. Look at this, no generator! until the three and a half minutes has passed. This mess uh, Chaos Space Marine can easily deal with the Seraphims. I have made it. But the Chaos Lord needs to be somewhere else to deal maximum damage. That's the problem here. That's why Roxor is in having trouble reacting to this attack because he's giving a lot of time for uh, Sisters of Battle to get to tier two. Time that is beginning now, basically, he has to successfully hit the necessary resource to get the tier 2. See? LP2s are being done, and that, that keeps the base safe. There's no way Seraphims can go in and deal damage now. So now the attack can begin, and there's nothing opposing them. Jedar hits the tier 2 button. 20%. It's gonna be a little bit slow, but much, much faster than him. 
This attack is not too late. But there's no cultists to decapture. Oh, why are you going to the wrong direction, my man? 80-20 economy is okay. Look at this. Chaos is in a much better position economically. Can hit tier 2 as well. But he goes for the listening post. And does not decapture. Because he does not have a decap decap unit ready. In this engagement, Chaos will win. There is no way the Sisters of Battle can win this engagement without Canonus. They can stand still and just shoot. There's no reason for them to move. And Sisters, uh, the Seraphims lose badly. I think one squad is about to get wiped here. Yeah, that's one squad down. And look! They're pretty weak! They're very, very weak. But tier 2 is complete. They bought enough time. And now the trouble begins. Angelic Visage uh, is activated. Not sure why. There's not enough critical mass. Even with Angelic Vis Visage activated, there's just not enough damage to counter this mass uh, Space Marines. If Chaos has went, uh, went for uh, no generator start, and just mass treat Space Marine, this will be over much, much earlier. But this play right here, ah, uh, don't chase. There's no reason to chase them anymore. They have hit tier 2. Now you must stop them from deploying more tier 2 units by blowing up this convent. This LP2 is active and now we'll... Oh no, look at that. That's this overpowered Inferno Towers, I'm not joking now, it's actually doing a lot of damage. Reposition his infantry, that's good play. What I don't like is this uh, Chaos Lord is taking so many hits for free. Dude, just fucking commit. There's no reason to... Okay, get the servitor. Oh man, that's a lot. Attach now, attach, abort mission. And this cannonist will complete. Wow. Roxer has made a terrible error. And here comes the tier 2 pain. Another LP2 goes up. 9820 economy. Let's take a look on the other side. 9220. See? It's pretty competitive. Roxer is going for corn berserkers, which I do not agree at all. Like. Why would you go Corn Berserkers in this situation? The Seraphims can kite them for free and they're basically hiding in their base at the moment because they cannot attack. So you need something to wreck base in my opinion. Maybe Horrors would be a great choice. Because they don't have any melee units and if the Seraphims are meleeing the Horrors, you can probably shoot them down with your Chaos Space Marines. This area is still vulner vulnerable to a horror drop, in my opinion. These Quorn Berserkers did not pay off, I think. Sorcerer is on the scene. Should have pursued this option much, much earlier instead of using Quorn Berserkers. Sorcerer deals good damage against building. Can teleport as well. Chains of Torment and Doom Bolt. Great combination. But despite being chained, they can still jump. I'm pretty surprised. Pretty surprised at that. But these corn berserkers, they're not gonna do a lot of damage against buildings. So they're forced to chase this Seraphim squad, which is continuously reinforcing itself. Why does jumping ignore chain? That's a good question, my friend. But I remember last night, my Dark Elder Archon does an Animus Vitae and... Lock down your freshly trained Tau Commander and kills him in less than 10 seconds. That's a much better power, don't you think? <laughs> anyway, back to the match. Yeah, it doesn't pay off. These Corn Berserkers are not doing a lot of damage, I think, and they're suffering a lot of casualties. This Chaos Space Marine will get wiped as well. So many losses. Broken Chaos Space Marine will take much, much longer to recover from morale loss. And look, look at this. One Convent took him an, almost an entire army to destroy and these two generators remain unmolested which allows him to get holy, holy reliquary in peace 
and that's a big problem because confessor can be trained from the from this chapel instead of convent so there's no delay in deploying his tier 2 army here and once the convent comes out assassins will come into play and that will surely hurt his army what remains from Roxer's earlier engagement is just one Corn Berserker squad and one Chaos Lord freshly trained this is not enough I mean I'm surprised the Sorcerer fell as well and they're still running 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 trying to buy as much time as possible because they don't have enough army here take and hold victory by Roxer will be cancelled pretty soon and it's gone yes uh, and he, his resource dropped in 9220 still average economy for Blood River this cannonist might be trapped but managed to recover from the slowdown effect and attaches herself to the battle sisters army I mean Celestians Celestians are not really good against uh, berserkers they might do more melee damage but their hit, their, hit, their hit points just can't match the Berserkers. Takes out the... prevents the Servitor from completing this uh, listening post. Not bad. Denying the economy. 98.20 now. While uh, Sisters at 110.20. Very, very good economy. And it looks like the, the Confessor is on the scene. His aura increased the damage to his units, increase the damage done by his units around him, including the cannonists. Important to, important to note. It looks like this is the end of the cannons. Gets killed by the sorcerer. And yes, Angelic Visage stacks real well. And this should be the end. Oh, Doombolt. Really, really good cast there. Near death, but not enough damage to finish them off. If only Chaos has more army. Chaos Lord and Sorcerer. Sorcerer here, very low hit points, only a thousand, down to 250. Wants to lock down this uh, Seraphim squad. Very hard to finish off, it seems. They're very, very slippery, especially with this uh, Veteran Superior having really, really good hit points. And shoot on the move. Master Crafted Weapon Research complete as well. Corn Berserkers down to three units. This Servitor should have been killed. <laughs> That's a hard engagement. Holy Attic research has been completed. That will stun for 15 seconds when cast. That's a long time. And there's not enough damage against uh, buildings now. For Chaos. Roxor is in trouble now. He simply does not have enough to blow a hole in this defense. Six minutes until taken hold. And as predicted, the lack of convent does not hurt sisters at all. And they have begun training a new one, a new selection from a newly constructed convent as well. Pretty soon assassins will come into play and things will go very badly for this uh, inventory army of Rothsor. Two Corn Berserker squads trying to face off against this uh, army of sisters, but in my opinion, even if you successfully drive them away from the map, you still cannot penetrate them with just this army alone. There's not enough anti-vehicle, I mean there's not enough anti-structure damage coming in. And this defense is just way too good. The Seraphim's Inferno Pistol stacking good damage and Celestians adding in as well. With the Confessor cooldown almost ready now. Will he cast it? Very intense engagement here. Chaos taking a gamble. And that's the cast right there. Smite's been cast as the Confessor is near death. And that looks like to be the greatest smite ever as the Chaos Army gets wiped completely. Holy shit! Roxor now is in deep, deep trouble. Excellent timing on the cast, and this Delph Cult Assassin is in play now. Very dangerous unit. When it starts attacking uh, infantry, it will automatically kill anything that has less than 40% hit points, and that cultist does not survive for long. But managed to capture this relic. They will have to decapture this. 122.30 economy. Very, very good economy for Jedi. This looks like to be his win, in my opinion. Just has to wait for crack grenades and melt the guns. And here we go. 
There goes the LP2. Chaos Economy is not so great. 92, 30 now. Without LP2, they can't hope to hold Four this defense. And he has no army to speak of. But he's at tier 3. That's the amazing part, ladies and gentlemen. We have a tier 3 army. Will we see a repeat of the Possessed Squad? As well as the <laughs> Obliterator stomping the map. I don't think the Possessed Squad will have a much easier time. Especially with the, can uh, with the Confessor around. Capable of stunning them for a long time. Here it comes. There it goes. The stun. They should really focus fire on these guys. But this sorcerer is locking down one squad of uh, Celestians. And this cannon is, is not attacking the right target in my opinion. Should really kill this possessed. Now the possessed is free. Only one killed. <laughs> Holy shit. Roxer is just overwatching his single unit. And this power generator is not completed. Too many heretics have fallen. What is this? A horror squad? No, it's an obliterator. Obliterator are really, really great for range damage, but they can be locked down in melee, and Jitter understood that. Uses his Celestian Squad, which is excellent in surviving this kind of melee situation. And horror is being used against infantry. That is a panic button. There's simply no vehicles to kill. And they do very bad damage against everything, except for vehicles, this horror squad. Roxer. Obliterator. I think he's being killed by by assassins, perhaps? Uh, let me see where the assassin is. Was that squad taking a lot of casualties here? I don't see the, the assassins anywhere. It's pretty strange. That unit is pretty important. And the Confessor seems to have fallen in the confusion. And this... Uh, ah, there it is. There's the cult, the cult assassin. This uh, obliterator squad did not last long, did not pay off at all, and the newly trained Confessor is back in play. But somehow, the Possessed Squad managed to hold the ranks of Sisters, despite the Assassin doing great damage here. Possessed Squad seems to have wiped out every Celestian here. <laughs> Amazing! Simply amazing! But she will die quickly to LP2 fire here. Should have escaped when she has the chance. Wants to kill the horrors, or maybe heretic perhaps. Did not manage to inflict any killing blows. Rockstar staring at the very low income 8339 while sisters at a fantastic 12650 economy. Holy shit! I think they can win this easily. They're floating so hard. Probably can go for vehicles. They already did. The first um, emulator is out. Smite being cast. A lot of damage, but no kill. One possessed down. Another possessed will go down shortly with this emulator attack. Emulators are really, really like damaging against infantry. It's like a supercharged hellhound. But possessed, sacrificing themselves, managed to cancel the taken home victory, and we have to suffer again, ladies and gentlemen, of this. Crazy battle in Blood River. And Horror Squad finally proving themselves useful. Look at the amount of damage the emulator has taken. In seconds it was destroyed. Did not pay off. Boom. That cost a lot. 165 requisition and 250 energy. Taken down in just 10 seconds. But Jedi has a lot of reserve on his side. A lot of resource to burn, so it's just a matter of time. More assassins should have been trained. No, no chance of Rocks from making a comeback here. He tried Possess Squad and Obliterator combination, but that simply did not work. And now he has vehicles to contend with, so his horror is basically locked down in this uh, in this base defense duty. And when you start losing the map like that, there's no coming back. 86 39 economy is not bad, but compared to Jedar's uh, economy, Sisters is definitely on the driving seat this time. What will Roxford do in this situation? Another LP2 is about to be burned down, 
and 73, 38 economy, dropping further down. Confess are dueling with this Chaos Lord. Pretty competitive, I must say. Maybe it's the upgrades proving to be the advantage here. And this uh, Seraphim finishes off the Chaos Lord, and things look very, very bad for Roxor here. Game one looks lost here. The early Seraphim caught him off guard. He did not recover in time. Did not manage to cancel the tier two, and now he'll have to pay. And this power generator should have been canceled long ago. That's like 165 requisition being locked down here. Requisition that he really desperately needs. And this Heretic did not even bother going here to complete it. Another listening pose will go down. Another bad economy. Another economical drop. Possess Squad still at full strength here is the only thing that keeps Chaos in action. Once they lose this squad, it's over, basically. Taken whole victory cancelled again. <laughs> Things are still going pretty peachy here for Jadar. No threat at all. High economy. Roxor, meanwhile, at the end of his ropes, goes for Demon Prince summoning. He needs a Chaos Lord this time to unleash that. And I don't think that will matter, man. That's just no way. Like, a single unit? What can you do? Jedar, meanwhile, is going for tier 3. And the Seraphim is simply kiting away the Possessed Squad. And this power generator is still not completed. And look at the amount of resources he has in his float. He can afford it. He can simply afford it. And the best part, he did not even research the inventory cap. <laughs> like, wow. This game has gone long enough. Gentlemen, it's time to finish this. I think we can see the writing on this wall. What the fuck is this lone <laughs> emulator doing? <laughs> Once again, this lone emulator tries to kill the economy of the chaos. Successfully takes out this LP2. And Roxer falls behind again, 63, 37, very, very low. Seraphim should decap this to get a little bit more damage done. These two points should have been decapped pretty quickly by the Seraphims. They can afford the time. It's not like this uh, Possessed Squad will sit still and, and, and survive uh, emulator bursts. Another listening post will go down here. Chaos Lord is ready. Will the Demon Prince arrive? Decides to attack the emulator to save this listening point. Will it? Will it work? It looks like to be so. A lot of damage being done in melee, and this possessed squad is forced to retreat as they are slowly getting kited and burned down. Too much focus on melee here, and boom, down it goes. Another emulator goes down, and looks like we have a demon prince here. Amazing. We hardly see this kind of unit in play. But I don't think this will save Chaos. Why? Because sisters are in tier 3. And we are going to see a lot of faith action going on. With this four full bars and lots of resource. Sisters can take anything. Chaos can throw at them. There is no way they can lose. You follow up a stun and DPS. Oh, we have Avenging Angels. Another uh, Sisters of Battle Cannon has power at tier 3. Using Faith Power, she summons in uh, a bunch of invulnerable uh, angels to assist. They do great uh, damage. They can lock down units, tie up, because it's like one apiece. They can lock down, uh, lock down a lot of squads, making it very difficult. Sister Repension Squad being added. And Demon Prince is down, and Exorcist is being trained for God knows what. There's really no reason for Exorcist to be trained here. And it looks like to be GG. Well played by Jadar. Rocks are not, not ready for that Seraphim play at all. Did not respond in time, and did not manage to prevent uh, Sisters from having a great T2 experience. And this looks like to be the end. Jadar can afford anything at this point. Great economy. So much resource. 
no way Four minutes. chaos can I'm prevent the loss with just 65 36 economy and this power generator is still not complete how sad and that's the end of game one folks let's take a look at the final score 25 minutes of chaos being beaten around chasing the seraphims 163 kills 119 losses Jedar on the driving seat most of the time the only weakness he showed is in tier 1 where he was transitioning to tier 2 and only has two seraphim units to defend himself and chaos space marine overwhelming overwhelming them completely but chaos lost too much in their attempt to bring down the convent and they paid for it dearly so that's 1-0 Jedar and Roxor will have to make a comeback next game in game 2 his map pick Tau against Jadar's uh, Chaos.